Thank you for coming to my poster number 226 at uh, SCIF 2020 in the ground motion section. I'm John Louie. Uh, my website is louie.pub. I need to thank uh, for helping me put up this database of uh, seismic uh, velocity uh, profile measurements. Uh, I need to thank my uh, undergraduate interns, Alex Simpson and Jacob Ortega. Um, I think uh, they would be uh, great catches if you have a, uh, a graduate student you're looking for. Um, there is a, a DOI uh, for this data set, but you can get to it through louis.pub. Uh, its uh, own website is here, and uh, you can scroll down. And uh, first, I've got to acknowledge um, the uh, uh, help from all the different agencies and companies, uh, labs that uh, have um, uh, helped uh, uh, with uh, all these measurements, hundreds and hundreds of, of uh, shear velocity profile measurements. Uh, and in particular, on the website, um, there's a link uh, from every um, award number uh, that we've gotten from the USGS to the um, uh, final report or uh, the uh, paper that we've published as a result of that award. Um, if we go down uh, on this uh, uh, website for the uh, archive, uh, there's a KML file available. You can see in the red circle there. And uh, if you view that, uh, for instance, uh, and then focusing in on Southern California, you can see all the uh, locations of the measurements that we've posted. And um, along each, uh, with each red uh, dot there, there is the, um, the shear velocity time average from the surface to 30 meters depth, uh, known as the VS30, and that's given uh, in uh, meters per second. So if we uh, go down and look at the south end of the 2003 um, San Gabriel River profile, uh, and we click on one of the dots, we can see it has uh, site number or site name 198A. And so having the file name, uh, we can click on the folder in the, um, in the, the uh, Google Drive, uh, and, um, uh, and we see there's two files associated with 198A, and the first is a text file, and the other is a, a PDF file. Uh, you can download uh, and view any of these files right there on Google Drive, right out of the website. Um, the file names might be uh, transect location numbers, like you see here, or uh, they might be station codes for the uh, uh, Southern California network stations that we've measured. Um, inside the text file, you've got uh, location info. Uh, there's a summary of the VS30. Uh, there's also the method that was used. Uh, most of these are Remy me uh, measurements um, and a chain of custody. Uh, who did the analysis? Who did the field measurement? Who posted the, uh, the file and when? Um, and there's also a reference to that PDF file. And if you open that up, you see that it is a, uh, a Remy slowness frequency image, which I call a PF image. Uh, and it shows where the dispersion picks are, and you can judge from that the quality. And also uh, here, for instance, uh, you can tell that from uh, uh, about 2 hertz to uh, uh, 5 or 6 hertz is where the, uh, the Rayleigh Wave fundamental mode um, phase velocity dispersion curve is uh, best constrained. Those dispersion picks are listed down in the file, and then um, at the bottom of the uh, text file, you'll find the, sh the modeled shear velocity versus depth profile. Uh, this basically gives, uh, uh, this database gives additional info uh, on um, sites that are in the uh, USGS VS30 database. And um, if you click on a site in their database and you see a notation JL, that's me, John Louie, and uh, you will find uh, the full information on that site in uh, this archive. Um, it's interesting what we've been able to do with that uh, San Gabriel River profile, for instance. Uh, it's a spatial variation down the, the 200 measurements of the profile. Uh, is uh, uh, apparently fractal. Uh, and the fractal dimension you can get from that with the uh, spatial spectra on the right appears to be uh, uh, very similar to what you get uh, if you get the fractal dimension of a, uh, uh, from a spatial spectrum of a downhole ross rhine log. Uh, a couple of examples are on the lower left. Uh, the other thing that we're doing with these measurements is uh, we're using them to constrain uh, basin effects on earthquake shaking, especially in Reno, uh, where in a, the database we have... Um, uh, measurements of shear velocity all the way to the basement at more than one kilometer depth. And uh, we're using that to build our community velocity model and um, do the uh, three, 3D earthquake modeling with uh, physics-based methods. Um, and the, uh, uh, the results we get, the basin effects, are pretty enormous, even in a relatively thin basin like uh, Reno. Thank you very much. 